Sometimes adding wetness and water droplets can bring realism or even a unique style to a scene. As seen in various ads and product visualizations, and Dew Droplets Plus is a Blender add-on developed by Lazy3D, and it was designed for those of you who want to add realistic droplet effects for your projects and objects inside Blender. And from what I can see, the add-on offers a suite of features, including both static droplets and realistic droplet simulations, along with additional effects using geometry nodes and materials that we'll explore in this video. You know the drill. After installing the add-on, you will find it in the Blender's end panel. The add-on is divided into two sections. Dew Droplets Next Gen, which contains most of the effects, and the Settings section, where you can adjust the parameters of those effects. And as you can see, the add-on organizes the effects into five tabs. Simulated Droplets, Static Droplets, Droplets Painter, Procedural Materials, and Miscellaneous. The setup makes it easy for you to find and select the effect that you need. And the settings section gives you control over the parameters, effects, and the materials that you have added to your project, such as visibility, density, scale, gravity, and more. These options make the effect highly customizable and give you plenty of room for personalization. And the simulated droplet feature, as you might expect, simulates falling droplets. You can control the amount of droplets, gravity force, and trail disappearance speed. And you also have the option to enable drop-in effects and adjust the scale. For better navigation in the viewport, it is however recommended to use the fast mode. Although accurate mode offers more realistic results if needed. And for those of you who prefer static effects, the static droplet section provides detailed control over the parameters like size, density, and random variation. In addition to enabling the animation to create more natural looking effect with the possibility to weight paint the group that you want to be affected by the effect. Also, the ability to enable proxy mode and HQ mode offers flexibility depending on the performance that you need. However, the difference between these modes might not be immediately clear to all users, which could lead to some confusion. Now, one feature that stands out is the mask option, which is available for both simulated the droplet facts. This allows you to add a mask to a specific area based on a selected object, and the feature is activated by default in light mode, an optimized mode for the add-on. And when the light mode is on, an empty is generated to launch the mask. On a side note, the droplet painter tab is perfect for those who want to manually paint droplet effects. And this section allows for precise adjustments, including curve accuracy, droplet density, and shape customization. However, manual painting can be time consuming, and achieving consistent results, especially on complex surfaces, might require some trial and error. There is also a tab called Procedural Droplet Material tab, which offers control over aspects like droplet scale, roughness, and motion. And it requires an active material with principled BSDF node. And while these procedural materials are efficient, they can still impact the performance on less powerful hardware or low spec machines, especially when it comes to complex scenes. Some additional materials are also available for different droplet types. In addition, there are two other effects available that might seem a bit outside of the core theme of the add on, but they are a nice addition to have. And these effects can be viewed as foam effects. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in this add on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.